All right, we're gonna show the interior of this 2018 Mallard M32. We tow it with our Ford Excursion 2002 XLT V10 four-wheel drive. Uh, these are Nitto Ridge Grapplers 285-75R16s. And uh, we have Moog ball joints, Rancho stabilizer, Napa end links, uh, Bosch heavy duty rotors, and PFC high performance brake pads. Um, we are going to go into the camper. You'll have to watch the previous video uh, for the exterior. All right. So, all right, we got lights. All right, so when you first enter the main door, this is what you see. But I'm going to take you to the right here into the master bedroom area. There's this nice looking gliding door. Uh, everything is nice looking. It's built pretty cheap, but it's a RV. So this is, I added the command hooks, obviously. So this is um, an RV queen size bed. And it works fine. Uh, many people say they changed out the mattress. Um, there's a main light. There's a um, smoke detector in the master. Those are two air conditioning vents. There is no heat vent in the master, but there is one right there. And this door, you know, obviously is not airtight. But so heat gets in. We have not had a problem. Of course, we have not camped in the winter and we live in the south. Window over there. There's two push on reading lights. We added auxiliary lights here. You just push them on, battery powered. Uh, and tables on each side, cubby holes, power outlets on each side, another. There's a lot of room for your junk. Um, mirrored cabinet doors on either side. You can hang if you needed. There's no light in here. I'm going to add one. Some of my clothes in there. Um, up here, cabinet door um, for more storage uh, for junk. See, we, we don't even hardly use it all right and it's it's just the same on the other side i won't show you my wife's junk over there and in, in her side that closed door closed here's the view from laying in the bed that is the back of the tv that's facing the living room it's on a swivel so at night you can swivel it around and i would be staring at the tv right now and we do that every night right now we're in the middle of a week-long uh, family trip um, to Cedars of Lebanon State Park in Lebanon uh, Tennessee and um, this looks pretty clean for three nights in here already with six kids all our all our kids um, from age 2 to 13 are staying in here now I'm not gonna fold this out but you can imagine this couch you can remove it if you want. It's not bolted down or anything. It's just a piece of furniture that comes with it. Folds out into a sofa bed, queen size sofa. It works great. Uh, you can see cabinet storage up here. Uh, we've added these little things for silverware. I don't even know what's in all these. Those food nets keep bugs off your food when you eat outside. Dishes and stuff. Um, this light turns on too. Back here. Okay. Um, this is good for seating in the morning. That whole table and posts remove um, cushions. All of the cushions, even the backings, remove. There is plenty of storage under one, two, three compartments. There's full, clear span, open uh, individual compartments, three compartments. And there is a section this wood section fits into this section when the uh, table is removed 
and the cushions fold out and this entire area is a bed. You can put a bunch of kids there, although I have one sleeps there, one kid sleeps there. Uh, we'll get to the other bunk room. Well, yeah, I'll go ahead and show you the bunk room. This is the bunk room. It's going to be hard to get it in here, but... Um, so my 13-year-old, you can tell a 13-year-old lives up here. Got her own window. This is a pretty decent size bunk. It's the biggest bunk. And it is, if you can imagine, if you saw the other video, it is on top of the exterior kitchen. If you don't want the exterior kitchen, then you would have another bunk down below. But you would not have this storage and uh, TV space. Um, or not, it would be a little bit different. Yes, we have an Xbox. They don't stay outside 24-7. If it rains, they play or they get bored, but they spend a lot of time outside. So my 13-year-old stays up here. My 10-year-old generally sleeps on this bed. My 8-year-old on this bed. Um, this is just closed storage. Uh, heater vent down there. AC vents in the ceiling. More storage. Um, now keep in mind, this is day four of a trip. These, uh, see this whole floor back here? Both of these individual seat cushions fold out and cover just about the entire floor. You could line up kids on this floor once those are folded out, or they could just sleep right there, or you could remove them and have that much extra room. That is also an escape emergency exit window. It comes out. Um... I, this is another bunk on the other side. I took our crib apart and completely fabricated this so that it still works. It slides, this whole rail slides up and down and completely removes just like it did on the crib. It took me a while to make it. And yes, I screwed it right to uh, our frame. I don't care. It's what I needed to work. I'm also a carpenter. If I remove it to sell it, I can professionally fill those holes. It will be fine. Uh, this bunk, that's where um, our youngest sleeps and is safe in there and has uh, his own window. Um, and uh, when you remove this, this bunk lifts up. It's got a bunch of junk on it now, but it lifts up. And see these? It bolts into here. So it's like that whole bunk lifts up to a 45 degree angle and gives you all the headroom you need for teenagers to sit in those chairs. It really actually works. This is day three or four. We've had three nights here and it's this clean. People always wonder how we do it in here, but uh, it, it, it works. We make it work. Vent, this is just a manual vent. Let some air out. We got the windows open. It's a nice day here in Lebanon, Tennessee. Another closet. This model has central vac. And yes, the vacuum reaches all the way into the master. Not quite all the way. You have to have someone holding the hose down here so you don't break it off. But it'll vacuum this whole thing. There's little bags you change out. That's the fuse and breaker panel down there. It's inside, so you don't have to go out in the rain if something happens. Um, here's the bathroom. And it works. Now remember, you're camping. Uh, so... You know, you're going to have some sacrifices. We do not live here full time. We could. I do have a job that would permit that. Uh, and that's something we're looking into. We may uh, look into doing long stints um, uh, on the road. And this was kind of a test for this. We're new to RV. So we're going to see. So you open the door to the bathroom. Let me get a light turned on. A professional YouTuber would have already had the light on. This vent in the bathroom has a powerful fan. Looks like a computer fan. But it will turn this air out quick. Uh, you run it with the vent open, of course. There's our exterior door to the bathroom. It's locked right now, but each exterior door has a screen on it. Here's the shower, uh, the tub. Um, you can give some kids a bath in there. It works. It, it works. That's all I can say. The shower sucks, but... Um, um, it, uh, if you don't want to go to the bathhouse or somewhere else, it, it is a lifesaver. And then you've got your sink. We're going to change that faucet out to a higher one that sticks further into the sink. Medicine cabinet. Toilet. Watch how it's actually pretty clean for eight people. 
Uh, some of us use the bathhouse. You don't have to use this. You step on it halfway and it will add water if you want to fill it up with water first, if you want, or you just step on it, it flushes down to the black tank. Here's your control panel. If you're boondocking, you would turn the water pump on and because the battery to the trailer would run your water and you would run your water heater off of gas if you were boondocking but we're hooked up to full power 30 amps so we have electricity running our water heater your battery charge is full because we're plugged in uh, the fresh water tank is full um, even though we don't need it full for it just fills up on its own uh, we'll, we'll dump it before we leave because that'll release a couple hundred pounds that we don't need to tow black tank is where everything from here goes it is one-third full the gray tank is where everything um, from the sinks go uh, it's only a third full uh, but I dumped it once already um, that's the bathroom um, the stereo is Bluetooth um, and DVD every, you can connect to your phone by USB or by Bluetooth uh, so it's pretty cool headphones TV did not come with a TV I added it I'm not gonna flip this around but you pull that bolt and you just, just flip it around uh, storage up here um, storage microwave uh, stove it's gas gas burners gas stove um, you fit a brown brownie pad in there fridge runs off of electricity or LP gas if you're boondocking um, freezer it works great and of course there's another fridge and freezer in the outdoor kitchen this sink faucet is a lot better um, the AC unit is inside That's pretty much it. it. Comes with a carbon monoxide detector built in there as well. So I'm going to stand all the way to the back wall of the bunk room. This is it. And it works. As you can see, my kids are playing outside like they should. My wife is sitting outside drawing and and I'm bored, obviously. Uh, we might go into Nashville again today. We're not sure. So people say, how do you live in that camper with eight people? Well, look. There's only one person in here, and it's only because I'm shooting a video. We eat a little bit in here. We're in here in the mornings eating breakfast. We're in here at night watching TV. We have a lot of fun. It's camping. And uh, we may live in it for long stints at a time, and that's called making memories. And it's not always going to be uh, uh, fine and dandy, but uh, we're trying to make memories because... You got 17, 18 summers with your kids at most. And with my 13-year-old, maybe we have four left. And you don't have to remember yours if you don't want to. But we're going to remember ours. So hate it if you want. But this is what we do. Oh, paintings. Uh, art by Jamie. Art underscore by underscore Jamie, I believe, on Instagram. She does original artwork. Check it out. We're out.